all you guys asking to paint that in. I did it. Anyway, so we're out here and we're kind of bored. So Nick's gone. He's at work. This is a rare Saturday that we have. Yeah, this is wild. I'm not sure what to do with myself. So I'm just going to drive the dozer around. Yep. My wife and Doug's girlfriend are at the same bridal shower. So we have like time. This is what happens. <laughs> So I think we're going to make another whoop section. We're going to clean up the jump a bit because the rain has really taken its toll. Yeah, washed it out big time. It's just rutted real bad. So, And then uh, just do some basic messing around. So Steve's cleaning his clutches. My machine's ready to hook, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll just mess around. Doug's putting a GoPro up there. We're going to do some, like, time lapse. Should be a good time. Heck yeah, dude. Let that diesel burn. Classic dozer. Let the glow plugs. It's pretty hot out. Oh yeah, roll call, baby. This thing is just totally compacted with dirt. Yeah, it was uh, real muddy the last time we were running it. The last time it was out was actually race day. We had it buried in the middle of the racetrack like half an hour before it was supposed to start. Literally stuck. We had to put two trucks on it. Wow. It yep. So, needless to say, haven't got around to washing it yet. It's kind of a big job. Totally sure of the plan here. So what's the plan, dude? I think what we're gonna try to do is take the radius out of the last, you know, 20 feet or so of the jump. Okay. So right now it's just like a real long gradual radius. So I think I'm gonna knock the top down a little bit and just try to make it dead flat. unload a little bit more before it meets the lift and hopefully throws a little straighter without having, you know, having to just hammer through it. Yep. I don't know. I'm still learning this whole jump thing, so we're just going to try something. Do it. We got the amateur rework on the jump, so. I don't know if it's better, Doug doesn't know if it's better. Only way to figure that out, just to jump it. <laughs> Absolutely, right. what, what better machine to send over a new jump than beast mode. Right. This thing's not gonna break, so. Yep, let's do it. All right. All right, so I think it's flatter. It's still got maybe a little radius in this last 20 feet, but. I don't think it's quite as aggressive as it was, so we'll see. Boy, that was not bad for a slow, slower hit. Like it didn't kick bad at all, so that was promising. All right, comes hit number two. A little more speed. All right, certainly not worse. It knows on the first one, but it knows on that one, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it didn't uh, It didn't nose bad by any means. Yeah. I think it's better than it was, but it's still not the perfect just flat throw and jump that we're yeah. trying to achieve. I uh, had an eco mode on that one. That's why it might have sounded a bit weird. So I'm going to oh, try okay. it in sport this time, see if I can get more drive off the face and yeah. more flatter. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah, I don't, I think it's maybe slightly better. Right. But, uh... We're still just not achieving that perfect flat launch. It's tough. It's nearly impossible, it seems like. <laughs> right. All right, pass number three. He's got her in sport mode this time. Hopefully she kicks a little harder, maybe stays a little flatter. Pretty typical. That's better. Yeah. It's, it's so much more tame now. Like, I haven't really hit this jump that much since we built it up big. Right. Just because it was like so intimidating and Nick's really the only one that sent it huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably uh, maybe not quite a foot shorter than it was. Maybe close to a yeah. foot shorter. So, I'm and that's just, a little faster. you know, trying to take the radius out of the top of it. Like I couldn't figure out how to do it without cutting the top down a little bit. It's just tough, man. Yeah. Try again. Ramp building is an art. Yep. Better, but I don't know. We're, like, 
I'm so inconsistent off the freaking lip. I have no idea <laughs> I don't, what I'm doing. We're still just not there yet, man. Like, okay. I'm starting to get, I don't want to say, like, turned off from the jump or disheartened. Like, that's okay. aggressive, but I'm starting to run out of ideas. I mean, we've reworked this freaking jump so many times. It's just, yeah, and it, even hitting it, hate to say it, I'm with you, not even fun anymore. I don't know why. Maybe like, I'm just being negative right now, but I, I don't know what to do. I just, yeah, I, I would like it to fly just, you know, real close to flat so you can kind of just, you know, throw off it at random without having to concentrate too much. Right. Maybe that's ridiculous Is to so? want to jump something without having to think about it, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, man. I don't know either. Maybe it's time to move on to like a totally new jump. We've hit this thing about a billion times, kind of getting tired of it. What do we do that's new? Right. Just got to look around and just see. What says jump? Let me see if I can wheelie I don't know. this thing. I'm into that. I think that'd be fun to try. Absolutely. I think a wheelie's gonna be real hard to pull off, but I wanna see it real bad, so. I'm not really sure what the strategy is here. Oh, that was kinda neat. Yeah, I can do that. That was fun, yeah. <laughs> what? Man, I wish I could like ride it down. <laughs> that would be insane. Okay, so with the Evo tune, it has the uh, all the power and low. Oh yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. See if I can whoop. and really, really romp it up, man. Like it's not that far away from doing it. It yeah. seems like it pops that front end really nicely. Yeah, like in high gear, it's just too much wheel speed. I think in low gear, with all the power. All right. We could be honest. I think that's a smart strategy. Whoa! All right, that was pretty. Yeah, that, was awesome. that looked really cool. <laughs> that looked really cool. It was like a yump. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, you <laughs> jumped it, man. It, like got some pretty decent air, and it just landed really nice. Like that was sweet. You should stand here while I do it. All That's right. So cool. <laughs> I'm gonna try to wheelie this time. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what to do. The back just, you know, once the back tires hit the ramp, it just kind of wants to launch itself up. Yeah, how do you how do you wheel? I don't know. Um again, if that face was longer and steeper, but <sighs> yeah. Gosh. You could we could build a wheelie ramp. You know, I think that's an obvious answer, but right. Really It'd be cool to find some natural terrain we could do it on. Yeah, that was like really fun. Like, just burp, burp. yeah, it was super entertaining to watch. I enjoyed it. Man. So maybe the jump's not totally out of fun yet. Maybe right. Maybe there's still something we can do here. Just got to hit it in reverse. That could All right. be the fun. We'll figure this out. I don't know how you wheelie. Ah. I don't know. You, you see it in the videos? It makes perfect sense. I feel like most of them you see are pretty high speed. Yeah. Coming over a dune, the front end just kind of gets light. You just stay into the power. It lifts, and it's just a real smooth transition at the top of a hill. I mean, there was like some early 42 Copperhead stuff, if you guys ever watched his YouTube channel, where like they jump out of these creeks. Oh, yeah. And then like just perfectly time it, and then like land on the back, and then just carry it out. Yep. I don't think this is the jump for that. Yep. But there could be something somewhere. We could probably manufacture something like that out here. Let's right. think about it. All right, so we got an idea. We're getting kind of bored with the one jump. Ideas. Uh, yep. So just looking around, like the natural terrain, the field really starts to drop off out here. Like this area. So ideally, we would be landing, you know, down a slope rather than into one like this current jump unless you go huge. So I think we've got enough room to come in through here, make a big savage cut with the dozer. It's going to have to be some aggressive dozing. <laughs> aggressive dozing you know another jump that leaves like here yeah pretty much and then sends you out there so you're landing down yeah because there is a certain there's a definitely a down slope here and it doesn't look like you could make one but if you made the cut hard enough the dirt that you got from here you could use to fill in here because it's on an angle right? right so the dozer can do it the dozer is a good unit i think once we put it in here and we just make one or two passes through, it's going to all of a sudden look like we can do it. It's a, just a nothing to it but to do it situation. Do it. So there's approach 
positioning it a bit differently than I thought, but this is smart. Because we need all this dirt to basically even the lane out before the jump, so. This could be good, this is probably good dirt too. Lots of clay, it packs real well. A new jump is born, Doug. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's new. So I think we need to hit it a couple times, just kind of see what's what, and then we'll start adding dirt and packing. And... Right. Seems to be nice and flat. So we don't really have a great run-up for it yet, but we're not gonna need it for some testing. Yeah, part of the issue with the run-up is that it crosses our you know, other jumps. So you can't make it smooth without really screwing up the run-up yeah. for the, the first jump, but that's okay. This one will kind of be a you know low height, Nice landing, just for funsies, to start off with. Work it from there. Well, let's hit her, bud. I think so. Who wants to hit it first? I'll hit it. All right. I'm excited for this. It's really funny, the angle from down here, like it makes the jump look huge because the ground kind of drops away, but it's really pretty small. Wow, it's so different than the first jump. Yeah, I think it's got a good change. Might end up having to be bigger. But... It certainly is not a jump that's going to make you nosedive. Yeah, I'm not even sure it's big enough to get to landing out in the uh, down slope yet. <laughs> Man. Man, it already feels like so much smoother than that jump. What, it's tiny. What a different thing, yeah. But like, you really feel the downslope of that, right. of that hill. That's crazy. And then, uh, like, it's so funny. The machine looks so different coming off of it because it's flat and doesn't have any radius. It's almost like you just fall off the end of it. Yep, that's you exactly know? how it feels too. Like, like it doesn't why I want pop it so much faster. Right, it doesn't pop at all. So, yep. well, we can work on that entrance and yep. try to. Uh, Make it a little a little smoother yep, for a little like more speed. Flooring it from the bottom here and just spinning. I'm just gonna yep. eat the jump up. So yep. Yeah, if you could, you know, maybe somehow smooth out where they cross paths, and then uh, yeah, build up some more height on this thing. This could be a really fun jump. Cool. Like I feel a lot more confident on this jump as well. It looked kind of fun. It seems promising. Yeah, it's good. All right. All right. We got a new little berm here. Kind of come in and just whoop. And Doug's in a, I thought he was going to clean up entry to this jump. Oh, I guess he did. So they can both coexist. Nice. Good work, dude. Yeah, thanks. I mean, you should be able to rip through here, no problem. Breaks in pretty dang good. Yeah. yeah. You know, the struggle is this transition right here, right? Because I can't cut too much of that out without yeah. screwing this jump up, so. Yep. Maybe this is the end of jump number one, and we just plow that in here and just make sweet jump number two. Boy, if we could use all that dirt from jump number one to put on the end of jump number two. And like shove it down in here and then just run it all out there. Well, I know. I don't know. I like the way that is. Yeah. If you could just take it from here and just kind of blah and put it on the end of that jump, yeah, I know that's tough to do. need a loader. <laughs> it's tough to do with a dozer. Yeah. A little bit yep. Maybe we don't want to jump to conclusions too fast. I don't know if I would want to push that jump down without Seuss's approval. Yeah, I mean, he's been the, you know, champion of that jump forever, so. Right, I don't feel like that'd be right, but maybe it's something to discuss. <sighs> yep. All right, trying the new entry. Hitting the new jump from the other side. That looked pretty cool. That's interesting. That looked like it was fun. Yeah. It was smoother through there than I thought it uh, might be. This hump didn't really upset the car that much.
Gosh, it doesn't give you a lot of time to really get straightened out though. <laughs> yeah, like when you start picking up speed, you're just you're turning still very close to the jump. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That may not be the best idea. I mean, that looks sweet. It does, when that thing comes around the dozer. It's real interesting, man. Wow. It looks super fun, and the car coming around the dozer just yeah. in the berm looks super cool. Dude, like, it's it gets so loose right here, and I hit this berm really, really hard with the back tire one time. I don't know if you I, saw I, it. I, I was watching through the camera. I thought something went yeah, kind of bad, but... That's fun. Like, I feel like we need to set the camera up for uh, slow-mo and just do it a bunch more. Okay, okay. It's, uh, you know, the my first reaction was that, wow, you're still trying to straighten the car out very close to the jump. Oh, absolutely. Which makes it interesting, though. Oh, it's so much fun. Gosh, I don't know, man. Looking through the camera, it's hard to it's hard to say. Right. You just don't see things that well. Man, they both look good. Yeah, coming through there. It's not what I expected it to look like. <laughs> it's a cool looking jump, man. This yeah. is fun. I'm excited. Like almost not even off the ground. Like that's the first time I actually watched it. Okay. And it's really cool how yeah. flat they just kind of pop off. And yeah. I mean, there's definitely some erosion happening already. Jesus. Not, you know, huge air by any means, but. It's a fun jump. Like, you know, obviously we're going to build this up. Right. You know, two times higher probably. Right, right. But as it stands, good time. Cool, man. Is it YXZ time, bud? Good things to come with this one. Um, it's time for something else and then maybe YXZ time. Interessante. Yep. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> yes, I haven't had it out in a while. Gosh, last time I uh, ripped it was race day. So six so weeks ago. Yeah, then we've been on vacation. Just all sorts of stuff going on. So she fired right up, though. It's ready to rip. Hell yeah. Good unit. I'm ready to watch it hit the new berm and jump, dude. And by the way, if you guys didn't watch our previous video, look at how beautiful the garage looks. So much space for activities! Yep, yep, did a little spring cleaning today. So, got up early in the morning, just emptied it out completely, mopped her all up, put everything back in, cleaned as we went. I feel real good about it. I feel like a lot less stress. In here. Yeah, like you can actually see the floor in certain spots. Right. Which wasn't prevalent before. This was, there was just like a half inch of, you know, like that grinding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal dust all over the floor here it was like covered in snow. Right. Metal snow. Well, it's no longer there. She's renewed for a little while.
I just got covered and stuff. What a didgeridoo. Looks like Doug's getting the hang of it now. Yeah, yeah! Jeez. Oh. Yeah, I'm still getting just covered and shit. <laughs> Steve's catching up. What up, dude? That's like, that's like the funnest thing ever. Dude, right? It's so much fun. Like, like, I didn't totally understand when you were talking about it earlier, yeah. but it's like the whole loop is fun. Yeah, it's like a, just a big corner that you're always turning, and yeah. there's like every spot has its own little fun thing. Like over here, you're trail breaking. In here, you're just sliding, yep. and then the jump, and the big long swoop and 180 in the back. It's like, it's like a it's like a four corner oval track. Yeah, you know, with the jump in the one street or like in the one exit. Man, that's super fun. Right. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Tweak this out a little more, make it a little bit bigger. Right. But. Man, super good time. Because I'm assuming like even the YXZ is having no trouble off that jump. No, no, it's, you know, it's funny because it looks like it's going to be a pretty big jump and then it just kind of boop. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> like down here you're like three feet below the ground. Right. You know. Right. Super good time, man. <sighs> right. Yeah, this could, this could turn into something pretty cool. Like a little hot lap competition or something. Yeah. Just for ripping. Right, right. Yeah, you set a couple cones out there. And right. And sort of time it and... Yeah, but this, I mean, this this corner behind me, you know, you're coming down the straight where you mm -hmm. break hard, and then uh, this corner through and hitting the jump is just super fun. Right. Yeah, this thing looks like it was doing really well. Like, coming into this corner, it was throwing dirt and shit, yeah. and you're just pounding gears. It was awesome. Yeah, good time, man. I feel like the YXZ is kind of at home here, bud. Awesome. Yeah, this is a good place for it. Not too far off the ground. Right. Just hitting corners, lifting gears. <laughs> Forgot you had the Momo, too. Things tag. Uh, the Momo feels good out here. doing some hot laps. I'm on top of the dozer. Hoagie's taking the old X3 out. the unit, Dougie. The YXZ is good. You know, I love it. It's an absolute blast to drive. Okay. But X3s are just, it's amazing how good they are. Yeah, I know. It's, you know, so in the YXZ, I felt like I was going pretty fast. You know, I don't feel like I was getting around there slow, but it was work. You know, I had some arm pump. I was really, really running the thing. You know, my heart was beating and this thing just goes fast in such a you know calmer way <laughs> you know cuz you yeah it is smooth the you don't you don't fight it as much man right. it's so smooth through through the bumps mm -hmm. it's amazingly good i was hoping you push it a bit harder actually ah you know not trying to 
hurt anybody else's rig. Oh man, if you rolled it, that would be viral gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, XZ owner ruins X3. Blah. Gosh, yeah, it felt like it felt really good though. Like, yeah, it felt like you could just go super duper fast. Yeah, and the times like where you really want to like kick it up and go, it'll yep. friggin' do it, dude. The power delivery is interesting, you know, yeah. because of the way it comes on. You kind of gotta you know anticipate that a little bit because mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, when it comes on, it, if you're in the middle of a turn, it'll definitely throw you out a little bit. So. Were you in two or four? I was in four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, yeah, good time. So I think uh, we need Seuss out here. Yep. We can do some, like, real hot lappage. Yep, I agree, man. Just let them eat for a long time. Yep. That's super duper fun. What happened to this thing? It's yeah. Like... So we're just out here looking at it, and we notice that there's these, like, savage whoops. Like on the way up the jump. I couldn't feel those at all. I didn't feel those either. Just boom, sure boom, boom. In the power and it's pretty soft. Right, just kind of skipping over top of it. Well. That makes sense. I mean, you're coming in loaded heavy on that side of the track. Right. Spinning. Man, yeah. Just beat this corner right in. Yep. And kind of killed the approach for the big jump, which is no longer as big now anyway. Who cares? Right? Yep. We'll fix it. This thing definitely needs some work again. But... Mm-hmm. There's enough speed here. You know, with the way this corner is set up where if you wanted to go big, you could really, you know, if you wanted to go big with the jump, you could really land out where you want to land. Right. I wonder where we were landing. Oh, that's a good point. I can pace it off. I don't think we were going much more than like 25 feet or so. Yeah, it seems to be all right. Shoot, not even. I mean, look at the jump to beat down like a foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, there's nothing left. Yeah, so we're, you know maybe like the size of that jump before we made it bigger like you know it was always more fun to hit then yeah and you didn't have to care as much it's pretty cool how you can see the groove you know yeah just created there. so much fun this could be the beginning of our little track extravaganza i don't know if this is perfect because circle track not really the greatest for testing but yeah. you could do something Right. What if we like went out and then did like an S curve in here? That'd be interesting. Like went around that tree and then went around that tree on the inside maybe? That might slow us down into the straightaway as well. Right, right. Hmm. Still, I wish that there was something we could do with this little pond crossing, but... Gosh, what if we came in and cut in here? Right. And went back out. Ooh, interessante. Let's think about this. Come in here, okay, cut back out that way, double, hard turn, and then back into the berm. And then back into the berm. Be interesting. That'd be interesting. Gotta be something we could do there. Yeah. You really only run it one at a time at that point, unless you're real close. Oh, it's good point, because it, <laughs> it cuts across. It's a little dangerous. Yeah, life goes on. Right, pay attention, I guess. Look at that beautiful sunset, by the way, too. Machines mm -hmm. out there just looking boss. It's a good day. Humid, but good. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm happy with the day. Nice garage clean. Yep. Get our belt temp shootout, I guess, review, whatever. Belt All sorts day. of good stuff. Kind of back to the roots day. Right. Just hanging out, doing dumb stuff. Yep. Wish Nick could be here, but some people got to work for a living, turns I out. I felt like he was here in spirit. Oh, he's I definitely here in spirit. Ripping that oval. Yeah. I could, I could hear him telling me to go faster. I could, you know, see his hand grabbing the grab bar, <laughs> his arm on the outside of the door, hugging it like he does, you know. <laughs> right. Just yelling 110. 110, 110, 110. Uh.